a good sign that Shamsul Mulk and Nasar Saab both agreed that there are few things uh, on the agenda which people, all people agree but we are not able to implement it because of small, very small differences. One is the Heidel power is very effective and Pakistan needs it. And there are so many examples from China that they, they use there, it's good. Uh, my se second takeaway is that all sectors are important. Uh, agriculture uh, is not using 97% and it, whatever it's using is not sustainable. It's using about uh, between 85 to 90% in my opinion and water is already shifting from agriculture to other sectors. Here I think research and economics uh, can play its role. Here I think there's a lot of lack of things we don't know exactly what cities are using and I think uh, of sub talk himself. The city urban water use and industrial water use are very important because of diversion and, uh, and then wastewater uh, food production, all those things. Okay, on the economics, uh, the first thing is we don't have comprehensive economic model for now even proposed water interventions. Uh, and for that we don't have even good accounting system. And all new water accounting system, for example, FAO has one on, on its website and some other organization. Economics is part of it. And it's not only uh, production per unit water, which uh, I don't know why World Bank's report has created a misguided number. It's all whole economic model. What is the cost? What, what is the benefit? What is the what is indirect employment, which the sector is doing? You change the you just change the employment scenario or food security scenario, whole economics will change. Uh, as far as research is concerned, I think we need to do research at the basic level and at all uh, subcomponent in all sectors. For example, agriculture intervention, which we are, everybody is proposing, they are not same everywhere and they are not same for all type of system. And we have tried few things and those are not uh, uh, effective or those are failed. For example, water course lining. Ten years back, irrigation departments were saying that they have lined 70 to 80 percent of water courses already. You go and check the website of Punjab Irrigation Department, 80 percent water courses are lined. One third, two third. So we are again doing and repeating the thing. Why? Why productivity of water is low? It is low, and I think it's very much linked with the with the economics. Economics of the small farmer, which we don't have. So we, uh, so for you, bright <laughs> people, uh, I think we need very solid economic analysis. Not only the project implementation economics the water use and water production economics, so full economics model, cost, benefit, long-term benefits, sustain the cost of sustainability, and some other relevant costs like environment, all those things. So it's a lot of work for you to do.